behind me, you will see the Philippine Army team, and I like this sport because it is native to the Philippines and it is our national sport. I even took this as a PE subject before, and this is really one of my favorite sports. Shakespeare in Parade in the Filipino Electorate. Um, although I find this mashup a little weird, I think I'm still gonna like to play because for me, politics is really a hot topic. It really gets my interest all the time. And apart from that, I am actually a fan of Shakespeare, so I guess we'll see you later on. Behind me is a mini version of a traditional Nipa hut incorporated with a native school here in the Philippines. And I like this structure because, well, as we all know, the architectural type is native to the Philippines as well as the materials used in this. And one thing I like about this structure is that all throughout the year, the temperature inside is very cool apart from the fact that every material used for this is eco-friendly. So behind me is a sculpture of the Filipino-Korean soldier monument which for me is very fitting to describe the kind of brotherhood that we have within the military within the within our military units because my grandparents my grandfather on the mother's side used to serve uh, US Navy so I kind of have I kind of know the gist of what it's like being in the military service and this one speaks volumes for me of how they treat each other inside their respective military units. So to be honest, I've always been a fan of interior design students here in Yuikaloka because every time they have their exhibit, they always feature recyclable materials which they transform into a beautiful and very useful interior design concepts like this chair. So I spotted this jeepney truck, which in itself becomes a canvas of series of paintings which embodies uh, portions in history in the history of our Philippines. It's a word in process actually, but I like this one because it's like every symbol of the Philippine culture and the Filipino identity being merged into one art form. So with the permission of the artist and co-project head, I was allowed to video take a video of this one. So. So the interior design concept of a library near a mini bar, that's actually my ideal picture of a personal reading nook with enough space to accommodate a few friends for poetry reading. For me, that's actually perfect. These two impressionistic paintings are actually a gift from my cousin which he made during his college days and handed it to me when I turned three. These are actually the first artworks that I've ever grown attachments with. So this mini bar interior design concept is almost exactly how my friend Roz and I actually pictured having a mini personal bar and a flat which we actually plan to share, well, maybe in the future, that's it. 